ICT tends to be a bit of an unfriendly term. Really what we're talking about when we're looking at technology in development is critically understanding the role that technology plays in people's lives and in societies and communities. So fundamentally, what technology does is connects people. Secondly, it gives them access to information. You know, we have in the last 20 years created the most amazing free access body of knowledge that anyone in human civilization has ever created. So it connects people to that. And then using mobile money, which is the other major innovation that's uniquely happening primarily in sub-Saharan Africa, is it allows people to make a transaction, which has then allowed situations such as where they can pay for energy and water access but has also formalised economies, allowed people to save, allowed people to buy insurance programmes, allowed people to get credit ratings and loans to start businesses that were previously denied to them. One of the great things that technology does um, is gives people a voice and a vision of what the world is outside of their immediate community when that can be restricted. You can use it to, to try and give power to the powerless in those communities. Ultimately, technology massively reduces the barriers for people to be innovative, to be creative, and then to reach a global audience.